So today we're going to be talking about protein. Um, so we have Bex here, our nutritionist, um, based out of CrossFit Putney, um, and she's just going to, going to give you a few tips um, about how to increase your protein and why it's so important. Now, we know that protein is um, so crucial for muscle growth and muscle repair, but there's so many other different things that protein is useful for. So Bex is just going to cover those in a little bit more detail. Awesome, yeah. So we all know uh, protein is important for muscle growth, um, but it's an important component of every cell in the body. So um, it helps in supporting metabolism, um, increasing satiety, so keeping you feeling fuller for longer, yes. um, role in immune function, um, enzyme function, detoxification, um, production of hormones, um, and also maximizing recovery from exercise as well. I mean, you know, this is something that maybe a lot of people don't realize, like in terms of the importance of protein and, and how many kind of functions it has. So yeah, we can talk about taking a protein shake and increasing protein intake from our, from our diet, but what we often see is that people have this skewed distribution of protein. Yeah. So, you know, all too often that we see it's backloaded to the evenings. So yeah. just talk about what we see with, commonly with clients and, and what a lot of people struggle with in terms of distribution of protein over yeah. the day. So we typically see um very little protein kind of in breakfast um, and also in snacks throughout the day. Um, and then we'll see a little bit more in lunch um, and normally the biggest amount um, in dinner. So a lot of people, their main kind of source of protein is coming in the evening as opposed to being distributed across the day. Yeah, I mean, this is what some of the things that we hammer home on our, on our coaching programs, like distribution of calories, but also protein intake is so important. Yeah. Like when you get a little bit more protein in your breakfast, a little bit more protein at lunch, and especially in your snacks, like what we see is just balanced energy levels, yeah. kind of better recovery from exercise. So it's really, really important, guys, to kind of try to distribute your protein over the day. Um, now, obviously, that's easy for us to say. So how can we actually do that? Yeah, so starting with breakfast, um, if you're having something like porridge, um, you could definitely boost the protein um, content of your porridge by adding in protein powder, for example. Um, you could also add in egg whites to your, yep. pro uh, to your porridge um, or some nuts and seeds on there as well. A um, couple of spoonfuls of yogurt on your porridge too. Um, otherwise, you could start your day with eggs, great yep. source of protein. Um, then kind of in your snacks, you want to base your snacks on um, a protein source. So things like um, Greek yogurt with some nuts um, or boiled eggs, hummus and vegetable sticks, that yep. kind of thing. Um, and then, yeah, basing your lunch and dinner, make sure you've got a protein source in each of those as well. And it's really important to understand that there's more uh, protein sources out there than just chicken breast uh, and eggs. So, you know, for vegan, uh, vegan or vegetarian clients, like sneaking, you know, extra kind of proteins from different yeah, sources definitely. is a really, really sensible way. Like we talked on porridge there, like, you know, using a little bit of chia seeds or flax seeds, you know, stirring through some egg whites. It doesn't have to be protein powder. Um, you yeah. know, so it's a really simple way to sneak things in. Like one of the things that we do, if you're making rice, you can sneak a pea or a bean or a lentil or a legume into it yeah. and bulk that out. And then what we're doing is combining proteins. Now, combining proteins is super important, especially for like vegan clients, um, because a lot of the sources don't have complete proteins. Um, that is, you know, a number of different amino acids and certain foods will only contain a few of those. Mm -hmm. So meat and, and, and a lot of um, uh, meat and fish and eggs will have complete proteins, but there's only a few. So what we want to do is try and combine them. Yeah. Um, this is something that's really useful for not just vegans and vegetarians, but if we are trying to combine kind of plant proteins, what kind of things can we can we kind of do? Yeah. What things should we be looking out for? Yeah, so some um, really good um, options would be things like beans with rice. Yeah. So like your curries, stews, serving those with rice. Um, then kind of peanut butter on toast. That's a great one on wholemeal toast. Easy. Um, chickpea pasta with um, some peas in there too. Yeah. That'd be a great one. Um, adding chia seeds on oats, like you said. Yeah. Um, and also kind of hummus on rice cakes. Perfect combination there as well. Yeah, like guys, if you head over to our Instagram, we've got a few um, posts that we've done on, um, on, on combining proteins on you know ve like vegan and vegetarian sources of protein and how to combine them um so this is something to kind of you know kind of go and check out um, maybe save that post so you can kind of always refer back to it 
all of these options, again, like they're not, if we're just saying combining proteins, just because you're not vegan or vegetarian doesn't mean that you shouldn't be trying to include these in your diet. Like these are a simple way. Like even if you're a, a meat eater, we still see that, dis- that skewed distribution yeah. a lot of the time. Um, and why we want to kind of make sure that you're distributing again, like we, we can only digest a certain amount of protein in one hit. So I hope that helps um, in terms of like giving you a few ideas to, to kind of help identify why protein is so important, how to get it into your diet at different meal times. Um, what we will be doing is kind of deep diving into some of the um, some of the reasons why protein is a, a little bit more important in a little bit more detail over the coming weeks. Um, so you know, check out, um, stay tuned for that. But anything else you want us to cover, guys, just please pop it in the comments or reach out to us via the website and, uh, and we can put some more of these uh, information videos together.